Hi, welcome back to my channel, Fishing AT. And you join me today at a mark uh, called St. Thomas's Head, or often referred to as the Admiralty, or the MOD mark, or the Priory mark, which um, sits between um, Clevedon to the north and Western Supermere to the, to the south. So it's just at the bottom of uh, Sand Point, and uh, basically Sand Point is uh, out down there towards uh, the west, as it were. And then as you pan round, you can't really see it, you've got sort of Kingston Seymour just around the corner there, and up towards Clevedon and Porter's Head. Um, it's technically a low water mark. Um, it's about an hour after high water. I'm a little bit early. You can see that um, you can get down to the to the little pebbly beach there and then basically you've got about 40 or 50 yards of uh, broken rock and reef and then before it um, opens out onto sand and mud. So typically we fish, or I fish the last sort of maybe three hours of the ebb um, and then a couple of hours of the flood um, because the tide race can be quite strong here uh, when, uh, when it's pulling in around the corner. You can technically fish all the way down down towards Sandpoint, lots of uh, similar ground. I think if you watched some of my earlier videos, Middle Hope Bay is probably about one to two kilometers uh, down there. You can, you can fish that similar sort of marks in terms of what, uh, what it offers you. Been some good reports of, uh, of cod here. So target species today, hopefully is a, is a cod. I've never really caught much here I've, since I fished here after restarting fishing after COVID. I've had dogfish and sort of micro codling. So hoping for something maybe a little bit better. So as I say, it's an hour after high, so it's about uh, 10 o'clock. Low water is 20 past two. Um, so hopefully I'll start fishing about 11ish. And um, low water is about 2.2 uh, 2 .2 meters high, it was 10.6. So it's about 8.4 meter drop. So about 25, 26 feet. And I'll show you the mark as the tide goes out about basically what the ground is like in, in front of you. But if you're gonna fish early here, you're probably gonna need a very good cast. And also you're gonna to have to combat quite a strong uh, tidal pull. So either use you know, thinner mono or, uh, or braid um, or a very big lead um, casting up tide as it were. So uh, I'll come back to you once we're, once we're set up. First casts are out. It's just gone uh, uh, 11 o'clock, so uh, three hours before low water. I should have said it's Monday the uh, 12th of December. And um, parked um, about a kilometre away in a car park that's pretty local to Woodspring Priory. If you um, look at the Veals Mail Order website, they've got a very good guide to Bristol Channel angling marks. And this one is under St. Thomas's Head or the Admonty. And it basically explains, gives you a postcode BS 229YU and um, directions on how to get here. So you come through Western Supermare if you're coming off the motorway, the M5, and basically you're about uh, four miles then to the mark. So parked in a small car park. Um, it's quite a, a rutted track. So if you, if you love your car, then I suggest you, uh, you think about another mark. Um, there are very narrow metal posts um, so if you have a very wide run, a transit run, I think you'll just be about okay. I got my uh, camper van through okay this morning. So, uh, but a wide van, I think you might, you might struggle. Uh, and obviously then it's a kilometer walk up the hill um, to the mark. So um, not, not a mark for the unfirm or the unfit, I'd suggest, because it's quite a, a strenuous climb, about a 20 minute walk. And also there are a lot of sheep in the field. So security around the fences, if you know the mark, the sort of fenced off area for the MOD bit has been sort of beefed up a little bit. They've got gates across some of the holes in the fences. So if you do, well, if you come through the fence, so I've come through the fence this morning, but please put, put the gates back that actually uh, um, cover up the holes to stop the sheep from wandering into the, uh, the MOD land. Um, so baits today, I've got lugworm and ragworm from Real Fun Fishing. I've also got some frozen blacks and um, squid I've had from them. So uh, rigs, a standard 2030 pulley panel, and uh, say first casts are out. Probably leave them out for 20 minutes or so, and then we'll be chasing the tide down to the uh, to the marks. I'll uh, come back to you when I've got some news. The mark I'm fishing is just inside the uh, the MOD fence. Um, you can see there, 
fence and the, there's some steps down. I say the little beach that I was showing on the intro is now a big expanse of, of uh, rock, broken rock. You can see where I am, there's this concrete sort of uh, um, structure going down into the water. And then there's these metal bars start appearing, low tide, a lot of metal work there. So if you come at high water and you're tempted to fish here, just bear in mind that there are a lot of metal structures in the water that reveal themselves as the tide goes out. So probably best to fish 20, 30 yards either side of the, uh, the metal spikes as they appear because they become quite prominent at low water when the tide is, uh, when the tide is out. So as I say, you there's, there's, probably can't see it on the thing, there's quite a bit of a tidal rip there. And you can, um, um, basically I'm fishing in a sort of slack eddy in, uh, inside. And then there's this further slipway about 100 yards down on the right hand side that you can fish off at lower water. Well, I've been fishing for a couple of hours now. It was very quiet, no bites. Um, bait's coming back pretty much untouched. I've um, moved down probably 30 yards down the mark. And as you can see, um, the rock ledges, little rock ledges starting to appear now. And probably in about maybe 10 or 15 yards, that gives way to uh, the sea, or uh, the sand and mud, sorry. And you can see the metal structures are appearing. Here was that post that was sticking out earlier on. And then you've got these little pylon type structures that are um, appearing now. They're on the sand as it were. A few more people have joined. So, uh, Angler, we're just explaining how good this mark was in the 1980s. And we, fantastic cod they used to catch. Got one on the far point there, I'm not sure whether you can see him. Um, and then another chap's just come down onto the slipway. So a poplar mark, so if you want to fish here, you probably do want to come here early to get a spot. There's obviously plenty of um, room down uh, westwards, down towards Sandpoint. So one thing about this mark is you do get pretty mucky. A lot of fine silt here, um, even though there's strong tide, just drops it all in the weed and the mud and the rocks. So it's quite a, a mucky venue. So make sure you bring waterproofs or something you can uh, keep the mud off your trousers and stuff. And obviously wear Wellingtons or, uh, or waders because they say if you come here in boots, uh, just normal walking boots or stuff like that, you'll get uh, pretty wet feet and uh, won't enjoy the experience. Well, it's uh, almost low water. I've been fishing for about three hours. No uh, bites. Um, although baits, a couple of baits have come back stripped, completely clean. But I haven't seen any bites as such, so possibly crab action. Um, on the, the mark itself, you can see now that the, the rock ledges have given way to sand and soft mud. It's relatively okay to walk on, just got to be a little bit careful. Um, I don't use a rotten bottom when I'm fishing, I just use a standard pulley panel. Because um, generally you can see that the, the ledges themselves are not particularly steep facing, maybe one to two feet in places, uh, on the right hand side of the, uh, the metal structures. If you go to the left of the structures as you uh, look out to sea, then the rock ledge is a little bit sh sharper facing, steeper facing, maybe three to four foot, five foot as such. So you possibly could use uh, loose leads there when you bring it in. But further down, uh, 100, 200 yards, they actually uh, shallow out again. As I said, haven't seen anybody else catch anything. Three other anglers here at the moment, very quiet. Um, using a variety of baits, obviously lug, squid, um, black lug, frozen black lug, and um, nothing um, is, is catching at the moment. So hopefully on the turn we might, uh, we might get some action. Well my love affair with this mark um, isn't getting on any better. Uh, four hours fishing now and uh, still the same, nothing really happening. 
other than crabs or little fish stripping the bait off the hooks. Uh, at least the tide has turned, so that's something that might be in our favour here. One of the anglers that was fishing here has packed up and are gone, so I uh, haven't seen anything caught. So uh, I'm probably going to fish for another, at least another couple of hours. I'll get into darkness a little bit, something might happen. Uh, just one thing, when I said about the metal structures there, and probably you're okay 20 yards to the left, probably make that 50 yards to the left. There's a few little low-lying ones. And then also about 200 yards down, there's, there's, there's a little bit more structure in the, in the water there as well. So weather conditions, well, it's, it's obviously part of the cold snap. So it's about, uh, when I got out of the car this morning, it was about zero. And I don't think it's changed much all day. Uh, the wind is very, very light uh, um, westerly. So it's in our faces a little bit, but nothing to, to, to worry about. Um, but certainly, uh, yeah, very quiet. I think I've done, I think this is either my 19th or 20th video. I haven't had a blank, so I'll probably put the curse on it there. So uh, fingers crossed I'll try and catch something. But as a, as a venue guide, hopefully people have, have learned something from, from my videos today. Uh, it's a very popular mark, so must there are fish here, and fish reports do do say that some decent cod have been coming out. Um, you've just got to be right time, right spot, I suppose. And I'll take the opportunity to thank everybody who continues to watch and uh, uh, subscribe to the to the channel. So really appreciate your comments, and thank you for for taking the time to uh, to watch the videos and and comment accordingly. So really appreciate that. And uh, as I say. Things get a little bit harder in the winter now, but uh, I still try to get out. Hopefully try and do a trip before Christmas next week. Uh, and then we're into the new year. <coughs> well, it's two hours after low water. It's coming up for five o'clock. And uh, my love affair with this uh, with this mark is uh, still very cold. Um, haven't caught anything. Uh, bites are zero, and the rigs are being stripped pretty quickly, crabs or whatever. And my battery lights just uh, packed up. There we go. Um, yeah, so uh, probably going to give it another half an hour, 45 minutes. See if anything comes in the dark. But failing that, uh, well, it's just another learning exercise. You can't win them all, I suppose, and uh, still a chance for something. And uh, I'll update you at the end of the session. Well, just a summary of how it's gone or not gone today. It's uh, almost three hours after low tide and uh, pretty much packed up. I've had 27 casts, not one bite, so no fish. Uh, still my nemesis, this mark. No doubt I'll come back again. Um, I was saying about rotten bottoms, quite oddly, I lost a couple of sets of tackle uh, and successive casts on the same rod, about, uh, well, the last two casts on the grey rod, basically. Um, not sure what that was, because I was still casting well onto the sand. So there must be the odd snag that's out there. Um, that, that's, that's a trap for you. So just bear that in mind, I, I'm still, well, uh, debatable whether you need a rotten bottom because sometimes it, it was almost like it was plugged in the in the mud and you pulled and you uh, you were able to retrieve your uh, your tackle so maybe with a rotten bottom you might pull and lose the lead so who knows anyway uh, tough day at the office the wife's just texted me say that she's done roast chicken dinner so that's a good excuse to pack up and go home so uh, until the next time again thanks for watching sorry there's just no fish this time uh, but I've got a blank sometime, I suppose. Uh, and uh, we'll catch you all again soon. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing and commenting. Take care, everyone, and we'll uh, no doubt meet up again in a week or so. Bye now.